Hello there! In this rather basic tutorial, we will use three possible parameters to animate a GIF animation. Position, effects and opacity, and we will start from scratch with a blank canvas. Let's get started! We go to File, New, and choose HDTV, 1080p, same size as a YouTube video, and click Create. We don't need guidelines, so we go to View, Clear Guides, and now it's time to make a perfectly blue sky. With the gradient tool selected, we click on the blue color, switch foreground to background by pressing X, and choose a lighter blue. Now that the colors are in place, we drag a vertical line. It's always from foreground to background, so be sure to have the lightest color as foreground. If we hold Shift while we are dragging, the line will be 100% vertical. Now we have created a blue sky. Time for a new layer. Command Shift N. Let's call it Landscape. I press D for resetting my foreground color to black and press B for brush and time to draw a tree. If all our black lines are closed, we can easily fill them with a paint bucket tool, a green color for the crown, this olive for the grass, the crown has to be darker, and some brown. We select the background layer. All new layers will be placed on top of the active layer. Command Shift N for a new layer. Let's name it Sun. And with a brush, we can make a soft round yellow sun. If you're new to Photoshop, the brush size you can easily control by Option and Control clicking while dragging sideways and up and down for the softness. On a PC, you have to right click on the mouse. Time to click on Create Frame Animation, and if the timeline is not visible, find it in the Window menu or go to Workspace Motion. We choose a frame delay on 0.04 and then duplicate the frame. In the second frame, we move the sun under the horizon with the Move tool, then double click the background layer to unlock it and select a gradient effect. Click on the gradient bar to edit the colors. I used the preset to get started. Then I only have to change green to yellow. A bright yellow. Press OK. Tick Reverse and OK again. The tree has to be darker too. We choose a color overlay and a blue color. Press OK, Blend Mode Multiply, and dial back a little in the opacity. Press OK. Now we click on the little tween icon. We have now used Position for the Sun and Effects for the colors. Let's add 100 frames. We can choose Once or Forever in Looping Options. I choose once and press play. Now let's duplicate frame 102 like that. And make the sky darker with another gradient overlay.
This time let's choose some blue colors. Like that, a dark blue and a lighter blue for the horizon. I think it should be a little darker in the top. Much better. And close the two windows. The tree should also be a little darker. A color overlay. And a darker blue. And time to add some stars. A new layer, Command Shift N. Let's name it Stars. Select a white brush. And to minimize our work, let's modify our brush settings. A lot of spacing. And in Shape Dynamics, we crank up the size jitter. And a lot of scattering. Close the panel so we can see our canvas and make the night a starry night. Time to animate. If we scroll to the first frame, we now have stars in all the frames. It's because we have this feature, Propagate Frame 1, so if we turn off visibility on the star layer in frame 1, and then turn it on again on the night layer, we are fine. We only need to tween again to finish this little animation. And we have used the third parameter, Opacity. Let's play the animation. Yes, the stars are appearing on the night sky. The last thing we have to do is export as a GIF. File, Export, Save for Web. This file is very big. Let's decrease the size to 30% and looping option forever. We have up to 256 colors, but I try with a lower value for quicker performance. We have so many frames. And diffusion, best for gradients and save. I name it GIF Basic, HTML and images. That way we can play directly in our browser. Let's try to open it in Chrome. It runs smoothly, but maybe something higher than 64 colors would be okay. Back to Photoshop and File, Export, Render Video. Another way of saving the animation. I choose a YouTube preset, but also the frame rate so it fits my other recordings in this tutorial. Here is the final video, a better quality than a GIF and the possibility to add sound. That was all for now. I hope this video was easy to follow. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe, add a comment or ring that bell for future notifications. Thank you and goodbye.